president is blaming his low approval rating in opposition to his radical agenda on the color of his skin. He also says pot is no more dangerous than alcohol. Is this a return of the Chum gang? We're going to get reaction to those absurd comments in just a minute. But first, on the day that the president enters his sixth year in office tonight, we are asking one, only one important question. Has the country benefited under his hope and change mantra? Tonight, you be the judge. <laughs> Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. Today, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. They will not be met easily or in a short span of time. But know this, America, they will be met. The president, in his first term, pushed through things on a partisan basis, was unable to work across the aisle. On this day, we gather because we have chosen hope over fear. What a train wreck. Unity of purpose over conflict and discord. How can we tax people for not buying a product from a website that doesn't work? Starting today, we must pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and begin again the work of remaking America. Five years of Obama, he's now entering his sixth year. What happened to shovel-ready jobs in the summer of recovery and 500,000 jobs created a month? What happened to his, his bold plan and predictions? Let it be said by our children's children that when we were tested, we refused to let this journey end. Record numbers of long-term unemployed, record numbers on food stamps, people losing their health care plans. We did not turn back, nor did we falter. The Obamacare rollout has been such a disaster. It's what everyone is talking about. It's been driving down the president's approval rating. And with eyes fixed on the horizon and God's grace upon us, we carried forth that great gift of freedom and delivered it safely to future generations. He's now had five years. Does he bear some responsibility for long-term unemployment? Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. And unfortunately for the Obama White House, the facts are the facts and the numbers do not lie. Five years later, the president's approval rating sits at a dismal 51 percent and 39 percent. Those are the only amount that approve of him. Those are not the numbers that he's grown accustomed to since getting into office in January 2009. And instead of taking responsibility for his failures, the president blames everybody else. And this week, he's now taken this to an all-time new low. During an interview with The New Yorker magazine, Obama was asked about his low standing in the polls, and he said, quote, there's no doubt that there are some folks who just really dislike me because they don't like the idea of a black president. Now, the flip side of it is there are some black folks and maybe some white folks who really like me and give me the benefit of the doubt precisely because I am a black president. Now, it doesn't get much worse than that, but that is not the only controversial remark the president made during that interview. He also shocked the country with his position on smoking pot, saying, quote, as has been well documented, I smoke pot as a kid, and I view it as a bad habit and vice, not very different from the cigarettes that I smoked as a young person up through a big chunk of my adult life. I don't think it more dangerous than alcohol. No kidding. It's been well documented. He bragged about it, if you remember, in his book. I spent the last two years of high school in a daze, locking away the questions that life seemed insistent on posing. I kept playing basketball, attended classes sparingly, drank beer heavily, and tried drugs enthusiastically. I discovered that it didn't make any difference whether you smoked reefer in the white classmate's sparkling new van, or in the dorm room with some brother you'd met down at the gym, or on the beach with a couple of Hawaiian kids who had dropped out of school and now spent most of their time looking for an excuse to brawl. Uh, the Chum Gang is back, and tonight, by the way, we want to hear from you. Log on to our Facebook page to share your thoughts on this. And you